YouTube, YouTube, good morning. What's happening? What's happening? Saturday morning, matter of fact, let me share with y'all my first bump before I started talking. <sighs> Saturday morning, time for me to get me a five mile run in. Yesterday was Friday. I uh, ran five miles on the treadmill. Um, I did it early, it was hot, and I just, it was hot. I got off early, went to run on the treadmill. Um, I upload, well, I'm in the process of uploading a shorts video about that. Um, and I went to my son's game, shout out to him anyway, although they got their ass whipped. I I left the game at the, at the end of the fourth quarter, at the middle of the fourth quarter, something like that, and it was 56 to seven or some shit, I don't know, I don't remember the school, but you know, sure, that's still, I, that's still my boy's school, New Hampshire, you lost, you gotta, gotta try next, next week, try again next week, take it out on the next team, that's, that's the, that's the only way to do that, um, yeah, y'all yeah, just, I, I don't know, man, they, the last game I went to, they beat a, they beat a school, they beat a school about that bad, and, um, I think I, I posted, I posted about it, they um shit. Windsor was playing golf and they was playing football. Now yesterday, shit. The other team was playing football. They ass was playing golf. I don't know what they, I don't know what they was doing. But anyway, I fuck that. I mean they they lost, and um they lost and uh they they just gonna have to they just gonna have to regroup. Have to have to regroup. They they look at video. I'm pretty sure the coach gonna have them looking at videos and. You know, looking at the mistakes they made, which was a bunch of them. You know, look at the mistakes they made, and then maybe they'll try, you know, try next week. They're going to be punished. That's just part of playing football. They're going to be punished, and um, the coach going to get on them. And uh, maybe next week, you know, whoever they play next. I, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but whoever they play next, you know, it'll be a better game. But um, it's this guy that I work out with. We, he goes to the gym with me. And um, we work out sometimes, and I mean we work out together, work out at the same time. And um, matter of fact, shout out to him, Ned Williams. His name is Ned, and we was talking. He asked me. I posted a video a few weeks ago about you know I overdid my cheat day. I overdid my cheat day, and he was saying that he don't um, he don't understand why why I said that. He don't understand why I said. I overdid a cheat day. You you can't overdo a cheat day. And based off of how he was explaining it, we didn't talk long because I I can't have a real long conversation with him at the time because I'm trying to, first of all, I'm trying to record, trying to record so I could, you know, break make content for you. We only have an hour to work out. And um I have to be to work. So we couldn't really carry no real long conversation about it. Well, I kind of want to elaborate on what he said, just in, and just in case anybody have that question and didn't, you know, had that question in their mind and didn't want to ask it or whatever. So um, let me explain to him, let me explain to y'all what I meant by I overdid it with a cheat day. I eat clean. What I mean by eating clean, especially especially during the summertime, and this be, this is mainly because I personally, I me personally, I don't really have an appetite. I really don't be having an appetite for to eat no cooked meals that much in the summertime. I don't know if it got anything to do with the weather or what, but when I, I eat clean, I, I eat salads. I eat a pretty much a fruitarian diet. I eat salads. I eat watermelon. I eat um, all kind of fruits, pineapples. You know, I make a fruit salad. If you've been watching my videos, you know I'm I'm pretty much eat you know eating like that. Salads, watermelon, nothing, nothing really cooked. Every now and then I eat some fries in the air fryer. Last week, or well, this week, this week gone, I had a taste for some. I had a taste for some boiled eggs. I ate some boiled eggs. Um, and I done said this a few times on these videos that I'm, I'm a vegan, but anybody who's a real, quote unquote, real anal vegan, 
they'll tell you I'm not because I have I ate some eggs th this week and that's very rare but you know sometimes I would have a taste for some bald eggs uh, with bald eggs and seasoning so so I'm just elaborating on what I mean by eating clean for the most part those particular days I eat a cheat meal I cheat meal consists of pizza um junk food like donuts um i had that that particular day i ate two two like small small pieces you know the personal personal pan piece i had two of those that day i had like six or eight donuts i drunk i drunk a lot of beer that day um i had some cookies um what else I had that particular day? I'm trying to remember. Some cookies, some donuts. That, that was, yeah, that was pretty much it. But shit, from what, how I usually eat, that's that was that was a lot for my body at one time. In my opinion, in my opinion, in my body, I'm saying my opinion, but that's just how my in my body. The next day I woke up and I felt that in my body. That's just how my body operates. So. Um, that's what I mean by I overdid it. Now, I don't feel bad about what I, because all that shit tasted good. I mean, I ate good. I, I mean, I, 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 it tasted good, but the way my body, my body responded to it, and I'm, and I, and it's because of the fact that I, my body just not used to that, not used to it. It's not used to be like, well, what is this? You know, pretty much that's, that's pretty much what my body was pretty much saying. And, you know, from, from the way my body reacted to it, you know, I, like I said, I drank a good bit of beers and I, I, that probably played a lot of, played a big part of it too. So, um, somebody, and, and, and somebody who's, somebody who does not eat, I mean, matter of fact, I ate like somebody who's, you ever seen, if you ever seen, uh, it's a show called My 600 Pound Life. Um, somebody just eating pizza and drinking sodas, eating cheese. Oh, I had some chips. That's right. I had a couple of bags of Lay's potato chips. Just overdid it. But eating chips and, and cookies and just eating a bunch of junk. Eating a bunch of junk um, on a regular basis. That, somebody who, that's pretty much, that's pretty much how I ate that particular day. And my body just didn't, didn't like that. My body just did like that. You go from eating watermelons and salads and, you know, drinking a lot of water, drinking nothing but water, and then you throw that in your body, your body ain't going to appreciate it. It's going to be like, what the hell is this? I, I'm not even used to this. Um, so that pretty, I, I, I hope I pretty much, but he, he was basically saying, you work out every day. You um you run a you run a you run a bunch of miles a week because he watched my videos and he you know he we talk in the gym every now and then so he pretty much you know know what I be doing know what I'm doing so he was pretty much trying to tell me look man you work out every day there's no such thing as no bad cheat day that's that's how he would and theoretically he he is right for me now if somebody's just starting this journey. And you overweight, and you trying to you trying to clean your body up, and you trying to eat right, and all that. I don't recommend you do that if you just starting. You have to get your metabolism to a point to where it's burning fat and is you know burning calories real quick, and you have to you know you have to be on the ground for a long time in order to do that. For him to make his point valid, he's right. There's no such thing as a, a bad cheat day. What I mean, what I meant by bad cheat day, my body just didn't didn't like all that shit at one time. Um, that's just my, that's just, you know, how my body reacted to it. That's pretty much what I was trying to explain to him, what I just explained to you. Um, but he, th theoretically, from his point of view, he's right. If you work out all the time, you there's no such thing as a bad cheat day. And what he, I guess what he meant by that, eat what the hell you want to eat. Eat what the hell you want to eat on your cheat day and get back on your grind the next day. He, he, he's technically, he, he's theoretically right. What I meant by I overdid it, I ate to the point where my body just felt bad. I felt bad the next day. My body felt bad the next day. So, 
shout out to him for you know us having that conversation about it. Like I said, I, I pretty much said that I couldn't get too long winded with him because we, like I said, we trying to, we trying to, I'm trying to record content. I just said this earlier. I tried to record. I'm trying to record content. I, I got to be to work the next day. My workout partner, who I actually work out with, we we short, we sharing short conversations. It's just a lot to try to cover within an hour. And I thought I thought that this would be a great thing to put on here, just in case somebody else wanted to, you know, had that question in his mind, in their mind, they didn't want to, um, they didn't want to. They didn't want to comment, but they just thought of it. And just to answer your question, I, I hope I cleared it up pretty good. And another thing about this guy, Ned, he got a book, man. He got a couple of books, actually. I just started reading this one. I haven't gotten too far into it. Um, old word, old man's wisdom, old man's words and stuff that some, he wished somebody told him when he was got younger. You, as you get older, I'm 46. I think he's 50. He told me shit. 56, he's 56 years old. 55 or 57. If I got your age wrong, shit, my bad. But he's about 55 or 56 years old. And he when you get older, experience when you get experience, you experience a lot of things. And you know, it brings you wisdom. Your life is a story. And he pretty much telling telling his life story on here. His life story. And he wished that you know, people would have told him certain things when he was younger and his life would have been a little different. I haven't gotten too far into this book, I, you know, but I am reading it. I am reading it and um, so far, so far it's a pretty decent read. Pretty good read so far. So shout out to him and um, I, will, I will tell you more about it as I get more into the book. Um, so, but um, if you're interested, if you're interested in purchasing this book, if you comment below, I can make sure you get in touch with him. I, I don't know if he 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 pretty he been walking around selling the book. And what is what's unique about it, man? He would, uh, I don't, yeah, you can see he signed it. He assigned the book or whatever. Pretty cool, man. But um, I don't know if it's on Amazon or or, or not. I, I really don't remember. I don't remember if he said it's on Amazon. I, I bought it off him personally, but I don't know, you know. But if you're interested, comment below and I will send you his, uh, I can send you his information and make sure you get one if you're interested. Um, I believe that, I believe that everybody, body life is a story and you can learn from everybody regardless of what your age is, how old you are, how young you are. Um, if you get, older and to the point where nobody can tell you nothing you 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 personally need to go get your head checked something's wrong with you that's that's just my opinion i mean you can learn something from a four-year-old i mean you you can never stop learning things um because everybody look at things through a lens differently everybody got a brain between these two ears some some people act like they ain't got nothing between them but that's neither here nor there um, you can learn a lot from a lot of from from people and that's what's so unique about this world to me in my opinion But anyway, I'm about to go put five miles on my legs. I just wanted to Elaborate and clarify, you know what I meant by I had a bad cheat day and um, I hope I hope that I hope that clarify, you know his thoughts and you know what he said and anybody else who had that question and I'm gonna end the video here. Um, like I said, I got a five mile run to do. I'm still grinding. Um, I have not, I have not booked a, I have not booked a um, trip yet. I am looking at a trip in October. It's a trip in October. I can't remember remember the dates, but it's in Detroit. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that, but I have not booked it yet. I have not committed to it, but that's something I'm thinking about. Um, they got another race in Atlanta called The Race. I was thinking about doing that. I don't pretty much. I mean, I like I like going running, and that could be that could be a that could be like pretty much a a training run for me. But it's in Atlanta. And Atlanta from here is about it's a four hour drive, three and a half four hour drive, and I don't too much care to go do states that I've already done. 
if that make any sense. Like I, I done, I done did the state of Georgia as far as running the half marathon. And if I want to, and if I take a trip, I take a trip. I want to do something that I have not done before. But, but I have family in Atlanta. Um, I have a, a nephew that plays football. And I was thinking that I might go up there and, and run that race and turn it into a weekend. Go check out his game and uh, turn it into a weekend. So I, I, I'm, I, may do, I may do that. That's in October. And it's a big event. It's a big event. Um, I haven't personally ran it, but I've seen pictures. I've seen people post videos about about the races it seems like it's real fun pretty 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 good course it's re very healy if you ever been in atlanta or you live in atlanta y'all know what i mean it's, it's very healy but I, I i'm thinking about i'm thinking about doing that one i'm thinking about it i don't know yet but uh those two those two places detroit and atlanta is on my is on my radar it's on my thought on my thoughts i haven't committed to any of them yet but um I'm still grinding back to what I was what I was really I'm back to grind. I'm still grinding. I'm talking about back. I'm I'm still grinding. I'm still working out. I'm still training as if I got a race tomorrow. Because I believe if you stay you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And if you stay running 24 to 30 miles a week and you stay working out and you still you still stretching. I have not stretched none this week. I had some situations come up, some personal family shit coming up. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are my stretch and my ab workout days. I was not able to do those two days this week, but I'll be back on it this this uh, weekend. I mean, not this weekend. Next week, I'll be back on it next week. And you just you know get back on the, get back on the horse and ride, baby. So. But that's what's going on with, I'm thinking about, I think I'm going to go this week, another week with eating my fruitarian, you know, eating my salads and, and my, eat my salads and my fruits, make my fruit salads and stuff like that. I think I'm going to go one more week of that. And, you know, fall is, fall is here. Matter of fact, after Labor Day, I think that's when fall starts or whatever, however it go. Fall is here. And I'm a I'ma change my meals up after this week. After this week, I'm gonna change the meals up. I'm gonna go back to eating cooked foods. Um and I will keep y'all posted on that, on what I'm what I'm gonna be eating and, and, and things like that. I'll keep y'all posted on that. But as of this week, I'ma still be eating my salads and um I put fries in the air fryer sometimes this week. I will um eat a fruit salad, you know. My my normal meals. If you had, if you if you want to know what that is, I made pl I posted plenty of videos about it. Go check out some of my old videos. And um, yeah, that's it, man. Um, that, just keeping you updated and just wanted, to, like I said, shout out to shout out to Ned for 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 the question and um, and that this guy is a he he he. I remember him when I was younger, man. That look looked like. And yesterday, I mean, he looked like a damn action figure when we was younger. Like he been in a lot of bodybuilding competitions. He's a bodybuilder, and you know he done got older, and he's not he's not into you know bodybuilding competitions anymore. But you could look at him and tell, look, man, that, he he used to he was really like he used to do you know bodybuilding shows, and then he said he got into pulling cars and flipping tires and that type of shit. He got into that. You know, later on, uh, and, and later on in his years, and and now he just he just in there, just you know, throwing weights around and talking trash. That's pretty much what he do in the gym now. But anyway, um, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'm AC, aka Scooby, and I'm out. Y'all be easy.